Hello guys, my name is Doke and you are watching third episode of Back in the Day series about sweet old times. In previous episode of this show we were talking about years 2008 and 2009, today we will continue with years 2010, 11 and 12. Last time I told you that during years 2008 and 9 I was so active and year 2010 was not different. In this year I made lots of sketches and lots of graffiti walls and most of them I made with my friend Takio. In 2010, I went to my first graffiti jam ever. But it was not just graffiti jam. People were dancing, playing basketball. It was more hip hop event than just graffiti jam. It was such an awesome experience. There were also famous graffiti writers from foreign countries. For example, the best woman in graffiti, Mad C. to this event also in 2011, but unfortunately it was the last trendest gem ever. Well, we were still active in 2010, but graffiti was not that popular anymore and lots of people quit. I haven't quit with graffiti, but in 2011 I was not that active anymore. But at the end of 2010, I quit with my photolog. You probably don't know what photolog is. It was something like Facebook page where you can share your pictures and artworks. I didn't have a place where I could share my artworks, but I was still a little bit active and I made at least one graffiti wall per month. Started with some other exciting activities, for example fishing, and I and my friend we bought our first motorbike. It was such a huge mistake. So oh, this awesome motorbike that we bought was a little bit broken and we finished him. After so many problems we had to repair it and sell it. see that amazing blue color um, you're not gonna believe me but we sold that motorbike four years ago and a few days ago I was 300 kilometers away from this place and do you know what I saw I saw our old broken motorbike and it was functional I couldn't believe it and I'm sure that it was our motorbike because nobody is that stupid nobody's able to paint a motorbike with cans I also remember another amazing experience when I and my friends we worked in theater with famous actors. We were doing so many exciting activities and we were just a few meters away from famous Slovak actors and singers. For example, Boschski Kaya Gott. was making snow. Probably the most famous singer in Czechoslovakia, Kaya God, was singing. 
we were about 40 meters above him and we supposed to do really soft snow effect. <laughs> but we fucked up. You know, we had these bags with fake snow and we supposed to do something like this. Unfortunately, we were like... Come on! Come on! Come on! It was not soft snow effect. It was like the worst snow storm. Our boss was like... What the hell was that? But everything was fine and I have to admit that Kaigot is a very cool and polite guy. Yep, I got so many beautiful memories from these years, but I was not that active in graffiti and year 2012 was even worse. I finished high school and I didn't care about graffiti that much and also people around me, they didn't care that much. I remember that I was thinking about it and I was like, should I quit or what? Today I know that the main problem was that I couldn't share my artworks with somebody else. I didn't have photolog, facebook page or youtube. So I was painting just for myself. Honestly I think that it was such a huge mistake because I could be much much better today. But on the other hand I do not regret because you always should do something what you want to do. Ok guys that's it for today's episode of back in the days. In next episode of this show we will talk about beginnings of my youtube career. And I can already tell you that you're gonna see lots of graffiti walls and lots of sketches. Okay guys, let me know in comments below if you like this video and you can also write me what is your motivation to do graffiti. Next episode of this show will be the last one. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time!